just got the go ahead from Mr. T.O. Chandler that we can go ahead and proceed with this game, but I'm gonna get caught up with chat real quick why we do so. I'm gonna let y'all see what's going on in the game while these guys are warming up. I'm seeing, uh, hope they will get some good footage. I believe we did. Um, let's see what else is going. UNSC, if we win finals, can I get a face off against ATM? You know, I'll try. If you win finals, I will try. How about that? We can contact them. We can, in fact, contact them. All righty. Well, with this go-ahead going on to get this game, I think, uh, I think we're ready to go ahead and get it started. Five, four, three, two, one, begin. All right. Both teams are diving towards the center to start off. We'll see how this turns out for them. Immediately, we got one down on red. Two down, already doing a great job of getting each other back up right off the bat. We do see these teams do seem to be playing a little bit slower than our last match, but that might be part of their strategy just to work and try to keep an eye on the game and really control everything. Absolutely. I mean, this is a different level of play from the game we just saw. I mean, the fastest style of gameplay are going to go come from teams like Riot and Havoc. Um, and this is this, this, these kind of teams from I know are like maybe just under to where you might see a little bit of slower gameplay, but that is still an effective strategy. It's all about how you play against the meta that your, te your opposing team tries to do. Almost a minute down on the board. No rounds taken yet. A lot of trades. Yeah, I am seeing lots and lots of tags, a lot of uh, EMP blasts firing off. Lots of one enemy remaining. Maybe I was uh, incorrect with my assumption of the, the level of skill um, across from teams like Havoc down to uh, down to something like this. Looking at EM Dubs, just kind of going ham, flying around, using the tunnels. That was actually very smooth right there, going through. Lots of stuff going here. Looking at Nana, Nana, I do apologize. I have friends that, uh, that have all different types of pronunciations. The spelling. Moving around Crusade, going around the outer aisles, trying to get the uh, looks like he's scouting. The lead. I didn't even see what happened. Nope, I entirely missed that as well. Round it happens two. sometimes. And start back off with Crusader VR. We're playing a little bit back. Let's see who's there. It looks like they decide that they're going to try and punish whoever tries to dive first. It seems to be a common theme in a lot of matches. It seems like you try to get the first one to dive and then immediately try to get a second pick if you can. And then from there, it's just trying to keep the last guy away from his teammates. Hoping you can get him down before he gets his allies back up. Yeah, no, that looks exactly right. Yeah, we do have one point on the board again for Ascend's mentions. One person left for Crusade. Can they tie this? All you gotta do is go find one up. It looks like their teammates are gonna go back up. Maybe not, maybe the tags are coming down. Crusade has been down for quite a while, but it does look like he does finally get the untag. One up crits getting tagged by Taya. Gonna see lots of moving around, lots of respect in the space. Seeing him go down. One up crit going down, but he'll probably be back up momentarily. So yeah, it's like this is kind of definitely a slower paced version of what we saw in the previous set with those other two teams. I wonder how much do you think that would uh, affect the strategies here? Um, I think it would affect them quite a bit. I think both teams are really just trying to keep scores all of their allies and a a lot of the, uh, as much as other teams as possible within their line of sight at all times, just because the easiest way to get tagged is if someone comes up behind you and you just don't see him coming at all. Absolutely. So I think playing a little bit slower and keeping your vision on everyone can help tremendously. I think that's what these teams are doing. Yeah. Scores are tied now. Two minutes, 45 seconds left up. This is game one of the set. Seeing lots of tags and lots of things going down in the middle. It's, it's, again, this is, I mean, it's its nothing really, there's no crazy strategy that I can really kind of pick apart. It just kind of seems like they're just a really good freeze tag match. It does. It seems like both teams are just doing their job. Prioritizing jobs. as soon as someone goes down, getting them back up. And then when you don't have anyone down, just trying to get tags. Yep, this is someone coming up in the chat saying, this isn't the corner game we saw last set. That would be correct. And it, it was very interesting to watch it. That was definitely something new um, that I saw before. Lots of two, one person down left, or one person left, four Zuckerbergs, two minutes left on the board. Can they find them? They are going after, but can they connect the tag? Lots of zips being used. 
Gonna have to run out in a second and figure out how to get around. He goes around and it becomes a lead into Ascend VR. Which is an excellent job there by Ascend and just boxing him away from his allies. They got two of them down up high and close together. And the third guy was a little split, so all three of them just did an excellent job of boxing him into a corner and giving him no chance to try to get to his allies. Looks like everybody's about to come back up on the team. We do have a 3v3. Crusade going down, Atayo going down, but coming back up pretty soon. Again, we're used to this, lots of tags, but if players are playing their support and uh, uh, attacker roles, you're not tagged for too long. One minute, 20 seconds left. It is one to two. I wonder if this is going to be kind of the same style of matchup. We saw Havoc v. Riot because, I mean, the, the first game, it is only one to two. This is still anybody's game with a minute left in the game. One. Yeah, not a lot of rounds, but definitely seeing lots of tags. One person left for Zuckerbergs. However, it seems like they're coming back up, trying to go into recovery mode. It is a 3v2. Lots of stuff just going down. Diving into diving into that crowd with no issues at all. Lots of one enemies remaining. If they keep going back to 1v1, 2v1, and it's like they keep trading the last enemy remaining. 39 seconds, 2-2. Two two. It's a close Round match. It, it's kind of interesting because we went into the set not really knowing the strategies or what we thought was going to happen and what, of course, is going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. It's going to be a tie. Red team I mean, I wouldn't say nothing's going to happen, but ooh, wow, look at that. That's a quick point from Red. I think that was the quickest, quickest point of this game. And that kind of actually worked out when we were talking about there's only a minute left in the game because they just pulled two rounds. Out of nowhere, and then that just instantly brings back in the lead. There's not much, unless they win in this next 16 seconds, there's not much that Ascend VR is going to be able to do for this game. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I think what happens no. in this last Eight. minute is that Seven. the players Six. themselves know they've only got a win minute to win this match. So they start Four. taking Two. some bigger risks, making Four. some crazier plays, and trying to. Wow, last minute. Ha! Clutch <laughs> by Ascend. And that's the game, and it's a tie! Oh my god. Oh my. Go into the replay. See a little bit of what's going on. I gotta check the book. What happens? Consult the rules. Consult the TO. The rules. I want you to tell me what you think about this replay here. We'll go ahead and set up to look at some of those stats. All right. As we've seen in the replay, we've got Looks like Nana being tagged by 1-Up. And, oops, sorry, I've been walking in front of me. Uh, we got, let's see, what do we have going on in this replay? All righty. Seeing that we're going into the match stats. Um, going in, this KD board, you see a lot of once on, uh, on Zuckerberg's side. Yeah, Zuckerberg's play that very well. Again, for a tie game, uh, honestly a little bit surprising these results, I think. It looks like uh, just based off numbers alone, the Zuckerbergs probably should have taken that. Um, Nana having a very good game with 21 tags and only 11 frozen. Uh, looks like they were a little bit lower on their saves though. So I think Ascend is definitely doing better in that they have the more cohesive teamwork, and I think that's what's allowing them to keep up with the Zuckerbergs right now. Because overall, the Zuckerbergs do have more total tags, but the saves for Ascend is much higher, and I think that's what's allowing them to hang neck and neck in here. I agree. <laughs> the first voice crack of the day. All right, so this just said, told by Mr. T.O. Man of what's gonna happen here. And so the rules on a tie is that both teams get a point counting towards the set. So what this means, is that the next game decides who wins the bracket. That's a pretty interesting uh, take on it. Very interesting, yeah. In a way, I mean, it kind of makes sense. They did bring it back. Both teams did the same amount of winning. I think so. But uh, always trying new, different strategies. Kind of see how this is going to go. But um, to give these guys just a second, because this will be their last game of the bracket. Not knocked out. Both of you, whoever leaves, would be going down to the loser's bracket. So, um... You know, not over yet for anybody that what happens in this game just kind of helps secure the amount of games they have to play to get to the finals. Yep. And how fresh and ready they'll be in the finals because that is one issue with the loser bracket. It means you got to play a lot more games to get back. You don't want to have to be dealing with fatigue in the finals.
Absolutely, absolutely. All right, well, this game will be getting started in about a minute. Let's let the players kind of uh, chat and get their strategies together. Um, and this game will be getting rolling. Again, this game we are watching is UNSC versus Zuckerbergs. The winner will be facing Riot. And that's going to be interesting here, to be honest, because now you're taking the top play very fast games and putting them against like medium paced games. And you're going to see who, who comes out in that situation. Is it just faster, better, or slow and methodical? I'm really excited to find out. We'll have to see if Riot can adapt. If they'll either speed up or slow down their play style, or maybe UNSC will speed up. That being, and we are now moving into the final game of the set, Ascend VR versus the Samurai Zuckerbergs, getting into game now. Start looking at EM Dubs and see what type of play style he's going to bring out this game, knowing that this is the final. I do see a lot of delayed starts. Just kind of see who's going to dive. Goes for the tag, gets the tag. That's awesome. Already bringing the team back up. It is going to be, again, just lots of trades. Lots of teammates doing what they're supposed to be. One person, EM Dubs, being the last remaining on Ascended VR. Does he get both tags up? He gets one of them. Can he get the crusade? His both teammates are back up, being an excellent support here. Very good. Very nice play. He played that exactly how he should have. Yeah, he did extremely well there. It was what a dangerous a... situation, and he safely guided them out. And a point going to actually Zuckerberg's after all of that. Two. Move over. See what Reggie's doing. Lots of jousted, lots of moving around. I guess lots of zips is what I mean to say. He's keeping his eye on the center of the fight until he goes into dives. It's a pretty good way to do that around. One person remaining, Crusade, Crusade in VR. He goes in 2-0. Much better start this time for the Samurais. I'd agree. I mean, last time it took a while to get points up on the board. Now we're just now a minute into this game, and we're getting two points up. One person remaining. Can they get the tag, or will they bring this up? It'll be 2-1. to And they do. So a lot faster pace than uh, the last game. I think, they, I think they're feeling the pressure of this is the, the game decider for this bracket. And so they're going to try and play faster than their opponent. And really, whoever plays up to their max and not pushing themselves, I think so win the set. I think that makes sense to me. Moving over, looking at the Crusade VR, going in for the dive. Followed by EM, going to get a tag on Donata. Spock back it up. It does kind of look like... So the way, the way these matches, or this match and set's gonna work, is players kinda go in, go for the joust, and then play out and look like birds ab above the map. And then dive in, try and get their tag, and get out. And that just seems to be a pretty safe way at this level of play here. Um, and it just kinda to see pretty rinse and repeat until someone slips up. Absolutely, you just don't wanna get exactly what happened there. Luckily they got out of it pretty quickly. Uh, but you definitely don't wanna be frozen up high together and then have one last man standing so that's a not an easy position to be in checking out crusade vr see what he's gonna do play on the out three to one bring it up for the zuckerbergs going back from crusade he's kind of looking for his target looks like he found it Two tags going down, one person being up. They already go back up. It's, it's, it's interesting adjusting for just kind of how fast, um, how fast they kind of do it. Look at Raiji going in for this tag, maybe going quickly, getting the untagged. The last person remaining, bring up four to one. And Samurai. Dave, what do you think? Do you think uh, three minutes, this is anybody's game still? Oh, absolutely. I think three minutes left, only four points on the board. I think they can still come back. Look at EM Dubs. It's kind of how he's playing. Goes in, misses the tags to get the untag. They're going to try and find Crusade VR, bring it up to 5-1. to one. This is starting to make it where I'm kind of... I mean, with three minutes... Now, this is game play. Three. But with three minutes remaining... And that's... Okay. Very interesting. Much quicker match that time. I don't know if the Sen just felt the pressure there from having to be the final match or what, but 
not their best showing, at least not compared to their match they had earlier. Um, hopefully we'll uh, see them recollect and get back on top of their game for the loser's bracket.